All right, I'm going to go through this pretty quick because I want to be able to talk about all three kinds of models and my time is pretty short. So we're going to compare linear, linear, quadratic, and exponential models. Exponential, T-I-A-L. I can almost spell. Yeah. Um, the difference between each type of model is more about the difference between the numbers than it is about the numbers themselves. So if you want to identify what kind of model you have, pay attention to the differences between the numbers. This first uh, model here is a linear model, and let me show you how we know that. If we take a look at the differences between the numbers, between negative 4 and negative 1, uh, we've gone up by 3. If we go from negative 1 to negative 2, we've gone up by 3. 2 to 5, up by 3, and 5 to 8, up by 3. So if the differences are the same, then you have a linear model. If, on the other hand, the differences between your values aren't the same, for instance here, if we look at this table, this is a quadratic model, our numbers are 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, we can see the differences change. Between the first value and the second value, we've gone from 0 to 1, so we've gone up by 1. Between the second value and the third value, we've gone up by 3, and between the third and the fourth, we've gone up by 5, and so forth, 7, 9. Now, these differences here, though, as you can see, the amounts that we've gone up, the differences of the differences are the same, whereas the 1, the 3, the 5, the 7, the 9, those are not all the same. Before, we had just 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, right? Here, these numbers change, but the differences between them, going from 1 to 3, that goes up by 2, and going up from 3 to 5, that goes up by 2. So if the differences differences of the differences are the same, are the same, then you have a quadratic model. And finally, for this third example here, this is an example of an exponential model. In an exponential model, your differences aren't going to be the same. Your differences between your differences aren't going to be the same. But the ratio of the values themselves will be the same. In other words, 4 is 1 third of 12. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 3 is 108. And 108 times 3 is 24. So if the ratio of your y values is the same. Then you have an exponential model. Yeah. So to check that out, just see how you get from one number to the other. If you multiply here, and you multiply by the same thing here, and you multiply by the same thing here, and so on, as long as that keeps happening, then you have an exponential model. So just one for a really quick recap, you have a linear if the differences are the same. You have a quadratic if the differences, the differences of the differences are the same. And finally, if your ratio of your y values, not of the differences, but the ratio of the y values is the same, then you have an exponential model.